will look at open streets for restaurants that just really radically transform the business and retail and real estate landscape across our city. New York City restaurants are thriving in the open streets program. Once we get back to 100% inside and we have outdoor dining, we can have healthy restaurants in our community again. Dive bar, great. Amsterdam Avenue, great. Awash Ethiopian restaurant, amazing. All these restaurants are thriving because we support open streets. It's huge, um, and we've had six new restaurants open up. It's just survival. I mean, all the restaurants are hurting, um, but it's but they're able to see a, a possibility, and that's huge. So this is Hungarian Pastry Shop, a legend in Columbia University student life that would have been out of business after, I don't know, 50 years, 75 years, if it hadn't been for outdoor dining. And this is not complicated, people. It's tables and chairs in the street with food and beverage service. Magic. People who perhaps before this had car blindness and didn't notice you know, the, the amount of real estate that cars were taking up on our streets, that, that could be a restaurant. Where, where someone parks their car and only moves it once a week for alternate side parking and moves it right back, that could be seating for eight people. That could be you know, revenue for a local restaurant on 9th Avenue. So here we are, Bodega 88 on the Upper West Side on the protected bike lane on Columbus Avenue. And I want you to just listen to the sound of happy people outdoors. That's the sound of street life. That is the sound of New York City coming back to life around its open streets, around its open restaurants, around its bike lanes. And DOT, I must say, really went out of their way to give us a shot because we were against all the rules. I mean, we had a, this is a truck route. This is a bus route. That wasn't supposed to happen. And the original document that allowed open restaurants was one page long. Over 10,000 businesses self-certified a completely new use of public space. This is no longer proof of concept. This is proven to work across the city and in cities across the world. I'm encouraged that I think a lot of the mayoral candidates this time around, this is a very, very major uh, kind of high priority for all of them. Listening to them talk about it, they're all on board. If you are a politician, if you are running for city council, if you're running for mayor, you have advocated for open streets and we want to see this as a permanent part of the New York landscape. Bike lane dining is a new thing where you're crossing a bike lane to go to the bathroom or engage your server. So when you get up from the table and you're leaving from the street back onto the sidewalk, look left, right, left. 